What's up guys, it's Guy. Welcome back to the channel and welcome back to another video on Rome research. Today I've got the top five most essential, useful shortcuts for your personal productivity in Rome. These are in a very particular order. I've had a tough time coming up with only five because there are so many cool little shortcuts that you can use in Rome to speed up your workflow. But these, I am positive, are gonna take your productivity to the next level. So let's jump in. In number five, it's gotta be shift click for the sidebar. This is a very basic function, but a lot of people I find are still underutilizing it. The sidebar is one of the most powerful elements of the Rome interface, in my opinion. So using shift click, will open up a page in the sidebar and then you can use command forward slash to toggle the sidebar open and closed. We'll be returning to the sidebar with my absolute favorite shortcut on Rome by the very end of this video, so stay tuned. But for now, let's move on. Next, in number four, we have Control Shift D. Control Shift D gets you to the daily notes section from anywhere in your graph with one simple shortcut. And that's something I find really useful because I use the daily notes section for any and all random collection of thoughts. And when I don't wanna think about where in a system it needs to go exactly, when it's really about speed of writing things down, going to the daily notes sections is the quickest and most surefire way to not lose your thoughts on the way to finding the right spot to write it down in. That was a very complicated way of saying that, but you get the point. Getting to the daily notes sections fast is quite nice, and sometimes you don't wanna use the mouse. Number three, this is one I only found recently. If you wanna go up to the top block or the last block on a page, you can use command return and command shift return to reverse it. So command return will get you to the first block on the page, no matter where you are on the page, and command shift return gets you to the final block of the page. And this is especially useful if you have very long pages and when you're scripting things or planning out blog posts or taking long, long notes on any given topic or a meeting, being able to go from top to bottom very quickly without having to use the mouse is extremely useful. Before we move on to number two on my list, please take a quick second and just very lightly tap that like button. It helps me out a lot. It's really great for the algorithm and everybody's just happier all around when that like button is blue. But without further ado, let's go to number two. That rhymed, that was unintentional. Number two, alt drag. Alt drag is a wonderful function that you can use in so many settings. Pressing Alt while dragging a bullet point across your graph will automatically create a block reference to the block that you're dragging. This of course is very useful when you have the sidebar open. So whether you're dragging into the sidebar or from the sidebar onto a page, it's a very quick way to create references between different parts of your graph and linking them accordingly. I find this most useful when making higher level compilations of other blocks that are already existing across a variety of different pages. For example, I've recently created this very simple video pipeline for this channel. And since I tend to write down video ideas relatively sporadically and always tagging them with the same hashtag, I can go to that hashtag and find a whole bunch of different ideas that I think are top priority for me. And then using simple alt drag block references into this new page called Video Pipeline, which is a much more organized version of that sort of scattered video idea collection, but putting it into a concrete order and then turn those titles into pages for each separate video. So, in number one. Drum roll, please. We have Command Shift Click. Took me way too long to find that. It sounds so simple because all it does is it opens references to a page in the sidebar. But I cannot stress enough how useful that is. The amount of times that I've shift clicked on something like a keyword that I really wanted to get more information on and then it opens up in the sidebar and I'm like, where are my unlinked references? Where are my unlinked references? And you can get to the references by clicking on this number here on the side of your page. But the quicker way to do this is just to command shift click on the page that you wanna see the references for and it's gonna open in a separate block in your sidebar. And that to me is worth gold. Why? Because I think using keywords in Rome is one of the quickest way to create content in a variety of different settings. I went over this in my writing paper videos, but whenever you're looking for references from across your graphs in relation to a certain topic, the quickest way to do that I find is to come up with a couple of related keywords and then creating pages for each of those keywords and then opening up the references to those keywords in the sidebar. That allows you to track any existing references if you've already tagged that specific keyword elsewhere in your graph, which the chances for that are usually quite high. 
but more importantly, it allows you to open up your unlinked references in the sidebar and that allows you to see all the different mentions of that keyword in the graph and that's when you connect information to the topic at hand that you didn't even know was there and that's what makes Roam so powerful. So command shift click is honestly a game changer for me. Do you agree? Do you disagree? Let me know in the comments below. It helps me out, helps the algorithm out, but more importantly, it's fun. It honestly, I, I love discussing these kind of things. So please let me know. If you haven't tried those yet, do give them a try. I hope it's useful. I hope it simplifies your life. I hope it makes your process a little bit more quick. And with all that being said, if this was helpful, please tap the like button, please subscribe and hit the notification bell. But most importantly, please share this with a friend. I'm still a small channel. These shares help me out a lot, a lot, a lot. Yeah, that's it, a lot. I have a bunch of other videos on Rome research. It's probably what I've dedicated the most time on this channel to thus far. So check those out if you're so inclined. And with all that being said, I hope you have a wonderful rest of your week. Take care, cheers.